This is a tutorial on how to do random spawning times in game salads. And I've read different methods on the website and in the forums and they're, I think, somehow complicated. So um, this, I think, is an easier method I came up with. And um, I prepared two things. It's two actors, one I called spawn point and the other one is the actor in red here that we will actually spawn. And in the scene, I place the spawn point here it's this um, white thing. So we go into um, the actor spawn point and uh, what we do first is uh, we add an attribute which is an integer and um, change the name to um, timing timing and set it to 1. Okay, then we go down here and um, we add a timer and set it to 0 0.1 you can change any other um, measure of time that you want or like and um, then we add change attribute here and um, go to spawn points timing and um, here we click on E and to random and again you can enter whatever you want I enter between 1 and 10 and um, next we create a rule which says attribute spawning point timing is 1 and if that happens if this attribute of timing is 1 what we do is to spawn an actor that's what we want so here is the actor and we spawn it in um, the back of the actor so it looks nicer let's test this and yeah as you can see it is random it's not perfect why because um, for some reason this is not live. It doesn't check it live. So what we have to do is we add another timer and um, set it to 0 0.1 again. And again, you can enter any um, number you like. And then we put the rule inside the timer. So the, time, the rule is getting checked every 0 0.1 seconds. And now, um, as you can see, hmm, it doesn't look very different. This is Another reason <laughs> is because uh, we have random 1 to 10 and uh, this is not so often to happen. So um, we can add other attributes and this is nice because we have a lot of different variables we can play with here. So we add another attribute to spawning point timing and um, say it's 3 and then we add another one attribute um, spawn point timing and say it's uh, 8. Okay, and now if you do that, we have uh, different kind of rules and uh, or uh, yeah, parameters inside of this rule. You have to change from all to any because just one of this has to be true for the actor to spawn. And now you can see um, that we have a different kind of a pattern in the spawning. Um, you may see that um, some of the points are much too close to each other and um, this may not be good for you. So what you can do is to change the reset of the rule from 0 0.1 to say 0 0.3. And now again, we have um, a different pattern in our random spawning. So you have four different parameters or um, variables that you can play with. It's the timer up here, the random numbers in here, the timer in here and the different kinds of attributes you can add here. That's a lot of play to play with and um, yeah, try it out and enjoy.